bitch on me, son. She got like it on me, son. Push it on a button like a button. Grind more time, pay time. Still getting right again. Great rising. Well, good afternoon, beautiful people. My name is Courtney J, and welcome to day four of my daily vlogs leading to my birthday, my 21st birthday. My birthday is June 8th. For those that didn't know, I'll be 21. I'm really excited. And currently, right now, um, it's a little bit after 12 o'clock, and I have to go to the bank. And then I automatically have to head towards my other apartment appointment to look into so that I can finally, you know, go ahead and see what I want for myself so I can go ahead and move in. So that's basically what we're doing right now. My club doesn't open until 7 o'clock. you guys check out day 1, 2, and 3 because if you didn't, why haven't you? <laughs> just so you could be caught up in what's going on. It just makes sense to go ahead and watch those videos before you continue on with this one. Don't mind the noise in the background. I have the air on because I had it like a little bit too hot when I woke up. I just have on this uh, two-piece black outfit. It's so cute. And some black Nikes. And do you guys like how I did my hair yesterday? I think it's so cute. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned into today. And let's have an amazing Saturday. I need that deposit clip back. I need that account number. Oh, yeah. I'm like all in the wrong window. <laughs> What's that? Can I do a deposit? Yeah. Okay, sorry. cute she supported my business she wanted to um know what my business was and i told her about the true aura and i sent her my business card virtually i love to see it and i got lollipops hey you guys so it is a little bit after two o'clock probably like 2 30 and i just got done with my appointments we're gonna just pray for the best as far as um these applications go but i'm really excited i didn't realize like how many new apartments were being built over where i'm at right now it's pretty interesting but um i'm just walking papa right now and i don't feel as tired as i did like i told myself that i was gonna like sleep until like four o'clock but I want to eat like my mind right now was on food so I'm really not that tired sometimes believe it or not I literally run off of a few hours of sleep like three or four hours of sleep it's insane like those power naps be hitting <laughs> So it is almost nine o'clock and I was talking to this guy longer than I than my energy could handle. It was such a boring conversation. Like we were talking about Alaska, you know what I mean? But I wasn't even his type. And I'm just like this conversation is overbearing my energy right now. I gotta go. Go crazy. House mommy me, Mr. Frey. 
Hey you guys, so I'm back. It's like 5 a.m. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The last dance I gave tonight was from a guy from Jerusalem. I asked them, I was like, are you religious? Because I've never met nobody from Jerusalem in the strip club. Like, I would think that was the last place they would go. <laughs> but um, tonight for me was an average night. I really didn't do much at all. Um, I took like an hour, two hour break. I so quit in the night. After I ate, I was just like jamming to music and stuff, you know. So that happened and that was pretty much it i really didn't like do much for real i didn't dance for too many guys and i was rarely on stage but the night went by really fast i'm not gonna hold you guys and then the guys that i did end up dancing for i just had to like talk to them for a bit some some of them i'm just happy that i'm just the moments are just over like i'm just so sleepy I get tired from talking to guys. I swear I get so tired. So I'm happy that my Friday was way busier. One of the rooms that I did, it was supposed to be 30 minutes, but I cut it short because the guy wasn't paying me what I wanted him to pay me. Like, like I don't care for guys that pay the exact amount. I want you to pay extra. And he wasn't trying to do that. So I wasn't about to do anything. <laughs> like, no, I'm gonna cut this short or I'm just gonna do the bare minimum. So a great way to distract guys in the dances is to just talk about some stuff. Ask them like questions like, do you have a girlfriend? And then this guy in particular, he had just got out of a relationship. So I was able to get him to literally talk about his relationship for like 15 minutes. And I barely did anything. Like, I was just so happy. Like I spent the rest of that time just not doing anything. Like just sitting on him and just you know comforting him while he was talking about his heartbreak and i'm like yay and then it was time for us to go i was like yay finally time went by so fast because no it's just like i like extra money so <laughs> you know all guys are gonna spend it it's just do they want to spend it on you these guys have money it's just do they want to spend it on you so i was like i know that they have extra money and if you want to be cheap on me, why do you think that I should, you know, go full out for a dance? Like, I'm going to still make sure that you enjoy yourself, of course, because I, you know, I would love for you to come back when you're feeling a bit more generous. You know what I'm saying? However, if you're going to cheat me out, then I'm going to give you what you paid for. And, you know, nobody said that I had to dance the entire time during our 15 or 30 minute room but just know if you're gonna pay the exact amount or just a little bit more over that i'm not about to be doing the most because in my opinion if a guy is dropping extra money for an experience then you know then possibly i'll possibly dance the entire time have a bit more fun but if you're just gonna pay the exact amount it's just like okay i've already done this before for guys that spend more and we all have a good time but if you're gonna pay the exact amount or whatever which doesn't make them broke i'm not calling them broke but i'm just saying that some guys are just a bit more um they're not lenient with their money sometimes like they have budgets or whatever so i get it i have a budget on how much energy i give during my dances <laughs> depending on how i feel like finessing i'll do 10 minutes shorter it really just depends on how i'm feeling and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about your life we're gonna talk about your life i want you to tell me all of your problems lay it on me and i'm gonna massage you make you feel good and comfort you and the time is gonna go by and the next thing you know it's time to go <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i would rather sit and talk to somebody that's on a budget than dance the entire time for someone that's on a budget and i only say that because I've been dancing for a year and with just where I'm at now, it just makes more sense for me to just go all out for the ones that are spending over and above. But for the ones that are on a budget, we can have some more downtime. 
the guys that spend over and above they don't even care you don't have to dance all the time you don't want to because it's been over and above you know what i'm saying but for guys that are on the budget it's just like listen let's get to know each other you know like let's take five minute breaks <laughs> like seriously and then a lot of times they be wanting them they want you to do the most for little anyway like yes you yes three hundred dollars is a lot to you but it's little to me so you you want me to do the most for three hundred dollars no no i'm not no that's just not happening <laughs> it's not happening at the end of the day all the guys do leave happy like i haven't had anybody actually there was, there was one person ever that felt like he paid for a ripoff because i wouldn't let him do like extra stuff and he already paid so i'm just like well you can be upset <laughs> i don't know what you want me to do the other night the guys leave happy they feel more connected to me and they don't think that i just finessed them even though i did but it's like i have to think about it once you're in this industry you'll understand these guys first they want you to do the most for little the ones that are on their budgets or whatever and it's like that's just, that's just it. They want you to do the most for little. So why would I sit here and do a full thing with you when you have the mentality of you wanting me to do the most for little? No. You cannot finesse a finesser. It does not work. I mean, you've been dancing for a minute and you start to know how much energy you put into doing so many dances and different guys. It's like, okay... This guy's gonna pay me a thousand, you're gonna pay me three hundred, and you guys both got the same amount of rooms. The guy that's paying a thousand is gonna get a bit more energy from me than the guy that paid three hundred. And it's just it's just that simple. However, both are still gonna leave happy. They're just gonna get different types of experiences. That's all. You know, this one's the budget guy's gonna get a bit more of me wanting to hear his problems and then the thousand one i'm gonna hear his problems i'm gonna relax i'm gonna you know just we're gonna have fun and it's gonna go by really fast and i'm gonna be honest you don't even have to dance the full time anyway it doesn't even matter if they're paying a thousand or the exact amount you really don't have to dance the entire time anyway when you know how to just do one move that they like and just keep doing it or just stall i like to stall I love stalling. There is a fight tonight too. I'm like, well, there's that. <laughs> I'm like, that club is like really, really nice for them to be fighting in there. Don't ask me what the fight was about. I have no, I have like no clue. This is what we have in ones. Oh, if I can like show it right. Yes, we have in ones. This is what we have in twenties. And also, side note, you guys, um, okay, that's like all over the place. <laughs> personality will get you far. That's how you get through. Even if you finesse a guy, if you have personality and make them feel really, really good and make them feel good for them spending money, they won't even think about the fact that you didn't do anything for 15 minutes. <laughs> okay? Two tens and three fives. So, I, I can already tell how much this probably is so it was an average night i'm appreciative for it though and i'm ready to go to sleep and eat breakfast um i go back to charlotte in a few hours so just continue to stay tuned my birthday is officially three days from today it is sunday and i'm so excited so until next time my lovelies i pray you have an awesome night rising evening afternoon whatever time you are watching this Stay up, stay lovely, and remember that you are the observer of your reality.